Now that we have the application up and running and all set to go, you should see this link on the front page, NGRX Docs. Click on that. And this link right here, I'll have down in the description of all the videos. The reason is, is we're gonna be referencing this website a lot throughout all the videos. So you can find that link down there, or you can just Google it, it's not too hard to find. And the first thing we wanna to do to add NGRX to our project is download this library right here, NGRX Store. And to do that, they show you right here, installation, just click on that. And then when we install this, this will set up a main state store. And also later on, we'll be able to create um, actions, reducers, and selectors. They show you how to do that. And we'll be checking these out later on uh, throughout the course. Uh, let's first install this though, get this installing a while. Now, if you're running anything over Angular 6, and we're running, if you're following along with the project that, you're, that you got off GitHub, that's Angular 8. So this should be fine, this command, uh, ng add uh, store. So just copy this. Now, if we go back to our project, let's get this installing. At the root, just paste and hit enter. Now that it's done downloading ngrx store, it made some changes to our project. And also you should see it within your package. As you can see right here, there was a change. If we click on this, and it should install it right here, right here. So you should see it in there as well. And then the changes it made to our application, if we go into the source app, you should see a reducers folder right here. And here's our uh, main state. Like I like to rename this like app state, something like that. It's more specific, or you can just leave it at state. I'll just uh, change this over a while. So this is gonna be for our main app state. And then also it made it some changes to our app module. Open this up and you should see this right here. And then this is for root. This is like for our main app state. Now we're gonna create like a sub state. Um, we're gonna create a state for our products folder. Now we could come in here and manually create all the files, but they give us this tool to help us do everything from the command line. And if we go back to the documentation, and close this up and navigate down to NGRX schematics. And what we'll do is then we'll install this. Now this will give us the ability from the command line to create like the store. That's what we're going to be creating in this video, actions and reducers. Like you could create all these files manually, but this really helps you with all this boilerplate stuff. So let's go ahead and install this as well. So click on installation and this is very straightforward as well. Just uh, click on this. And at the root of our project, so I'll open up the command line, clear this out, paste and install. And it's going to prompt you. I usually just select yes. Now that we downloaded this, we should be able to create stores from within our command line. So I'll just clear this out. And now what we're trying to do is create a store within our products module or our products folder area. And to do that, we'll just go again back to the documentation. They show you how to do that right here. So click on our uh, schematics and click store. And then here we're going to use ng generate store within the command line. Then also they have flags here. Like you can apply it to your module or configure it to your module. And we'll do that. Also, we're going to use the state path. And this will um, change the name of the folder instead of reducer. I'll just change it to like store or something like that. And then the state interface, like before I changed it to app state, uh, if we go back here and that is uh, right here and I changed this to app state, but you could do that from the command line instead of coming in here manually and changing it. So what we'll do is we'll change that as well to product state. So let's go back here. So the three flags we're gonna be using is the state interface, state path, and the module. So go up here and copy this again, and we'll go back in here, open up the command line, and paste. And we'll change this to product state. And the first flag we use is, uh, you can take your pick. I'll start off with the state path, I guess, so state path. And that's gonna be inside the products folder. And we haven't created this folder yet, but um, I'll call it store. And then the second flag we'll use is the module. So it's gonna automatically configure it to our module by using this flag. So make, make sure I add these in. 
So again, that's in our products folder, the module, and the module name is products module TS. And then the third flag is going to be the state interface, and we'll change it from state to product state. So state interface, and that's going to be product state. Okay, so it created us our store, and then as well, it updated the products module. If we go into our products uh, folder, we should see a store folder now, and then inside there is our our state for the product folder. And as you can see, our interface uh, name is now product state. We didn't have to come in here and change that. That's very nice. And then also, if we check out the products module, you'll notice it configured it here as well. If I close this down, I'll put this on a new line so we can see the whole thing. And then it added this. And if you notice, like the, the main app state is using for root, but in the subfolder or the product, products module we're using for feature so that's a difference there and it's pointing to the uh, reducer or the folder for the index page right here as you can see there so now we basically set up NGRX throughout our project we set up the store now in the next video what we'll do is we'll set up our actions and we'll do that next